Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for joining on this another live stream today. So this is the 21st of July and this is on Wednesday. So uh, looks like the JPY pairs are trending right now. JPY is very weak today and as a, as a result, JPY pairs are going upwards. So I will cover these JPY pairs today first and then look at some other markets. So let's see. All right, let me squeeze my face and start the session. So before standing here, as a, as a usual uh, disclaimer, is that the, uh, uh, this information is um, based on my own experience, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do within risk management. All right, so let's see. I can see Adrian's here. Hello, Adrian. Thank you for joining on this Ichimoku community here. Okay, and let's see. So when you, when you come to Ichimoku community, when you join, uh, please access to this, uh, please access my website and click here, services, and come to Ichimoku community. And after that, uh, please come to, so if you access to the community page website, scroll down a little bit and make sure to connect your know, Discord to the Ichimo, a YouTube channel, your own YouTube channel. And then you can get all the perks in this Discord. You can have these three books and also some past videos, archive, and all these contents are available in this Discord. So yeah, make sure you connect Discord and then you get all the perks. So recently I've get these uh, uh, comments and uh, questions by email that uh, you cannot see any contents of this community. So yeah, make sure you come to Discord and then you get all the perks. All right, so let's see who's here first. All right, uh, Movie Hero, thank you for joining, and Gabby. So Rush, good to see you too. Richard Asif and Ahmed, Shamal and Bachit, good to see you too. And Vince Wong and Kim, and Chan Muhammad and uh, Oroka, um, the Sergi, thank you for joining, and TY and Arukari. Good to see you, everyone. Okay, so let's check some JPY pairs first. So I will switch my uh, screen. So first, let's look at the Euro JPY pair today. So this is bullish now. This is one chart and it's bullish. So let me check the, uh, the daily chart. Okay, on this daily chart, this is bearish. Uh, I mentioned this on my um, uh, trading view analysis today that this is bearish still because the Kumo's down, Kijun Sen down, and Tenkan Sen also downwards. And the Chikou Span also touching the candles, and this is bearish confirmation. So, as per daily chart, this is bearish. The market looks to be bearish and it's been resisted by this descending trend line. So as long as the market is below the trend line, below the Tenkan Sen, this is bearish. But now we can say that the market is about to break the lines and it might turn bullish afterwards. It might turn bullish. So um, in this case, if the market retraces backwards and breaks the Tenkan Sen, then it can go back to the Kijun Sen. So, um, yeah, it might be a retracement continuously for, for, for this week. And also, the line of uh, 129.61 was very remarkable because this was a reversal line. The previous supports uh, was about to become resistance, but now the market broke that support level. So, that also means that this retracement can be very huge and it might be traced backwards to the Kijun Sen in this case. Yeah, so that's the analysis on the Euro JPY. So basically, the market are, are going backwards right now. So we have to be careful. Whenever you see the market goes backwards by these you know, currency uh, factors, you have to be careful. You don't want to jump in in this case. Make sure you have you, you wait for the trend confirmations and look for an entry chance. 
is always what I do. Always wait for the trend direction. So in this case, stay away is my answer. You can, you can buy in lower time frames. You can scalp or intraday by buying this one. But for myself, as a day to swing trader, I would stay away because this is still in the middle of the retracement heavily. Yeah, and since this is a JPY pair, I, uh, we can also look at the, the market by the Tokyo Box. And it looks like Shamal has a question about the Tokyo Box setting, so let me quickly touch on that. So Tokyo Box is the area where the Tokyo session starts and ends. So this is the Tokyo session start, and this is the Tokyo session end. So in between these candles, uh, you have the previous high. You have the high here. So long. You have the high at uh, 129.55 and low at 129.15. So this is Tokyo Box. And today, there is a breakout upwards in this direction. And afterwards, the market tested the Tokyo Box high and it continues to go up this way. So Tokyo Box setting, um, I do this, I use the trading view and I use sessions indicator. If you simply type sessions, then you can find this indicator. And uh, my setting is like this. I only enable the Tokyo session. And in terms of uh, style, I put the only Tokyo session background enable and color yellow. And I make it a bit transparent like this so that you, you can see the candles inside the box. So, and you have the Tokyo box like this. So, in this case, Tokyo box breakout happens against the major direction. So, um, I would say that this is not, this might become fake, but today it turned out to be true and it turned out to be bullish afterwards in this direction. So this is very nice. This is a very nice and stable uptrend as per one hour chart. If you can switch it to Ichimoku lines, it shows bullishness, the Kumo's up, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou Spine above the candles. And this is bullish trend. The market might retrace backwards, and, uh, but still, continuously go up is my analysis. I am actually buying the pound JPY today. Let me switch to pound JPY because I, I also see this huge retracement here. So I bought it at uh, 150.12. Right before the breakout, 150.12 was, was here. Right after or right on the breakout, I bought it and still holding it but because this is still retracing too. And uh, so, but this is my trial. So I don't go for like higher lot sizing. This is very small lot sizing. I just took one lot size and buying here because I just wanted to test and see if it works or not. So hopefully I catch this. But uh, coming back to the daily chart, this is also retracing. So as per daily chart, the market is retracing backwards to Tenkan Sen. So Tenkan Sen will be an initial target. And the target is very close in this case at uh, 50, 150.95 is the target. And it's about 10 pips away from the target. But overall market is downtrending. Um, the Kumo is still down and Kijun Sen down too. And Chikou Spam below, below the candles and this is bearish. So today is bullish but next week or today, this week, next week could be bearish afterwards. And this is also the thing that I talked about uh, yesterday's live stream was that the, um, because this was the support zone between 149.03 and 148.51 was the support zone from the previous supports here. And it was actually supported and now it's going backwards. So 
yeah, whenever you see the market is close to the support line by the daily chart, you have to be careful. Even if you see Kumo, Kijun Sen all downwards, it might be supported in reverse backwards like this. All right, hello, Melanie. Thank you for joining. Great to see you here. Yeah, it looks like markets are moving right now, this week, are active. So we have lots of opportunities on these markets right now. OK. OK, Fan says, um, hi, Kay. How far the Tokyo box can run? It, is it run until all the Tokyo box? Um, it depends on the time, and it depends on the market condition. It might reverse backwards anytime soon. But uh, when you follow the Tokyo box breakout towards the major time frame direction, then it tends to last longer. It can last until next day. But since today's Tokyo box breakout are against the major direction, in this case, um, this might be very short. Tokyo box breakout happened here also on pound yen. So uh, this might become a bit too short. The market could go up to this uh, Tenkan Sen of the daily chart or the previous high. Previous high at 151.31 uh, level and maybe trace backwards from here. Yeah, let's see. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you, as always. So any pairs trending right now, everyone? Let me take a vote. There is a vote option here, so let me take a vote. Are you trading now? Yes or no question. Let me briefly ask, just to see how many percentages are Trading or not trading? I think it's on the chat, so you can uh, take a vote. In the meantime, let me cover some of the comments and questions. Orca says, can you show us which stochastics indicator you're using? I couldn't find the one with your setting options. Um, I'm using the default stochastics on TradingView. It's default. Simply you type stochastics, and you find the one default. And that's the one that I'm using right now. Over here. But my setting is not the default. My setting is person K30 and person D10 and slowing 10, smooth 10 I use. And if you're using the MT5 or MT4, um, it will be close, close. Not high and low, but close, close. Oh, well, fun, that's good. You get some profit with the token box on AUDJPY. Yeah, let me check the AUDJPY now. So here's another retracing market. The market was supported at a uh, round number, 80.0 yesterday. So make sure you watch round number two. This uh, 80.0 is the round number. So the market is now bouncing back backwards. And today is bullish. However, in the meantime, this, the, the higher time frames, daily chart is still showing bearish still showing bearish trend, so um, it might turn bearish anytime soon. But let me check the one hour chart. In one hour chart, this is now turning bullish. Simply this is on the bullish in the wave. So now this is going up, bullish in the wave. And uh, yeah, let me check the token box here too. Token box resistance 
was at 80.69 and since then the market is going upwards. This is looking like the inverse head and shoulders and neckline was also the talker box resistance at 80.69. So this is the neckline of this inverse head and shoulders and afterwards it might turn bullish in this direction. So in this case also initial target is going to be at the Tenkan Sen of the daily chart. So let me see how far that is. So here is the Ichimoku with the daily chart and Tenkan Sen right now is at 81.32. So it's possible that the market retraces backwards to that level, 81.32, which is also the previous high in one hour chart. So that's possible that the market goes up to that direction. Okay, so let me see the result of the vote. Let's see. Okay, yes, 58%, no, 41%. Okay, that's great. Yeah, looks like we have some trending pairs. So you can be active on your trades right now. So let me check another JPY pairs. So how about USD JPY and the daily chart? This is flat in the daily chart. Okay, price is now going back to the Kijun Sen level at 110.35. So this is retracing backwards. The Chikou span is synchronizing with the past candles, which happens sometimes. So the market might be uptrending for some while. But here is initial target, Kijun Sen is touch on the daily chart. So let me go down to one hour chart. In one, it's up also. But there is also another resistance level near the Kijun Sen daily chart at 110.35. So the market might be retracing backwards from here. And in terms of the token box, let me check. Okay, so here is also Tokyo box breakout happened and afterwards the market is uptrending now. So the price is now reaching up to the previous resistance level in the one hour chart. So if you're looking for buy, you have to wait for the breakout, the clear breakout and then buy or wait for the retracement after the breakout and then buy will be a theory. Okay, here um, I am in Dubai now. Yeah, I'm in Dubai, not in Tokyo anymore. Since July, I moved to Dubai. Okay, have some bad trends on gold. All right, let me check gold soon. I will cover the CADJPY and then move on to gold. Um, Exola says, uh, I would like to know if this strategy is profitable when I trade VIX 75 and which time frame is the best. I use it based on the daily chart and the forward chart. I follow the trend direction based on daily of four. And I use Ichimoku, Kinkoikyo, to capture the trend direction. Not sure if it works in the VIX, because I never traded the VIX before, but uh, the principle should be the same. So if you, if you see trends, then simply write on that trend direction. Aditya says, uh, Mr. K, what's the reason to buy pound JPY? Is this a new strategy? Um, no, simply it's, it's retracing backwards. All the JPYs pairs are retracing, but simply I took this particularly pound JPY to buy because um, 
the market is regression backwards. JPY is very weak today. And uh, I saw one hour chart to be trending, so that's why I took that buy. It was based on one hour chart direction. But I was expecting the market retraces backwards soon, but it looks like it's still extending, so I'm just keep holding that buy. But uh, I don't take normal lot sizings. This lot sizing is very, very small. It's my just trial, so, and see if it works. All right, I will be on gold soon. So let me check the CAD JPY for the JPY pairs. So here is the CAD JPY and the daily chart also retracing backwards, but we see still see Kijun Sen and Kumo down. So the market is reaching back to the Kijun Sen in this case, which is at 87.90. And with that in mind, if you look at the one hour chart, this is also a nice bullish trend. I have to cancel this arrow because now it's turning bullish. So, and uh, in terms of Tokyo Box, yeah, Tokyo Box breakout also happened today. And afterwards, the market is still bullish. So it's uptrend right now in this short term in one hour chart. Okay, so yeah, let me see. Shamal says, can you give some idea about trading with a QSLEX as you have a template by this indicator? Yeah, QSLEX, I talk about it on the Ichimoku community. But I will in the future live stream the videos. But uh, yeah, QSLEX, I created the booklet of QSLEX strategy in this Ichimoku community, and that's available to read. And also, I have some videos about that too. Yeah, Kyushu Lex is basically to capture the major or a, like a bigger picture of the market. So Kyushu Lex doesn't really provide when to buy, when to sell, but uh, it's good to capture the trend direction also. This is actually the Ichimoku strategy from original books. So myself, I use Ichimoku, but uh, I put more, I add more confirmations in multiple time frames and it becomes my original. Because original books doesn't really talk about the multiple time frames. He, he never looks at the Forex market. Goichi Hoso that only uh, check the uh, stock markets or indices, Dow Jones and Nikkei and a couple of other indexes. So yeah, it's like the mixture. All right, Georgie says, uh, trading pound NZD. All right, that's good. Let's see, pound NZD, um, let me check quickly and then move on to gold. Yeah. I don't personally trade NZD pairs because it's volatile in lower time frames and spreads are higher than other markets. But uh, yeah, let me check pound NZD. As per daily chart, it's flat. No trending, no rain, no trending right now. In forward chart, uh, this is also flat. Yeah, there is no trend, and lots and lots of wicks up and downwards. And I can see that this is a very tricky market. So, yeah, it, in terms of the direction, this is a bit bearish, as um, Gregory mentions this is a bit bearish because the price is below Tenkan Kijun Kumo but uh, overall is ranging so we're not sure which way it goes so simply I stay away and focus on other trending pairs today okay so let's move on to gold I didn't look at the gold today so let me see 
Okay, gold is still ranging as per daily chart. It broke the Kumo downwards, but still in the sideways. The Kumo is flat, Chiko span touching, and uh, yeah, it's much, very much flat. Uh, we had two days back was the Doji candlestick, and yesterday was also almost like a Doji candlestick. Today is bearish, but uh, still kind of supported at uh, 1795 area. And this is very tricky market too. It's flat, very much flat. Let me check one hour chart. All right, in one hour chart, this is also flat, a bit bearish to me. It's been bearish in waves like this, so it could go down this way. It could be bearish. But there's a support at uh, 1795.21. So better to sell after the clear break of that level. Until then, it might be in the range. It might go up and down, and we're not sure which way it's going. Yep, so let's see. I think, uh, yeah, this is also a bit really tricky market to trade. Let me see. Let me check some other pairs. Euro AUD, let me check. Euro AUD is here. As per daily chart, this is still bullish. The Kumo is still pointing upwards, and Kijun's and up, Tenkan's and up also and Chikou span above the candles. So I'm waiting for the breakout of the previous week highs at around 1.6125 area. Once it does, then I will look for buy chance in lower time frames. Let me see if there is any past resistance level here. And yeah, there are some resistances here and also the supports. So. This level is significant in this particular situation. 0 0.1625 is the resistance. So better to wait for the breakout and then look for buy afterwards. All right, Rehai Zad uh, says, uh, can you look at Euro AUD? Oh yeah, this one, yeah. I'm uh, happy to watch it right now. Yeah, looks like this is still bullish, still bullish. Uh, yesterday and today were just ranging, but overall looks to be bullish still. So let's see. Let me check some other pairs quickly. Euro pound is ranging now, flat. Let me check pound JPY and see what's happening right now. In the lower time frame, one hour chart, still bullish. Yeah, still looks to be bullish. Um, let me check the strength chart also. Strength chart still shows that the uh, JPY is very weak. So right now at the moment, JPY pairs are good. But the best one is the CAD JPY is the strongest bullish market right now. And then New Zealand JPY and Pound JPY follow. So let me check CAD JPY one more time. Looks like it's the strongest market to buy. Yeah, looks like it's still going up. So once again, the target in this case is going to be to the Kijun Sen. 87.90 is a target. Let me check the five minute chart. Okay, so in five, the market is beautifully band walking in this area. 
and it's a nice uptrending, stable uptrend. But um, I don't see any buying edge. If I, if I buy right now, for example, then the stop loss is going to be too wide. Stop loss will be here when I buy right now. And in pips wise, it's going to be like 90 pips, 93 pips. This is a bit too wide. So I might have a stop loss below the previous low here, twice supports. In this case, my stop loss is going to be 35, which is okay to buy. And the target is going to be at 87.90, and the risk rate ratio will be like 1 to 1. Let me see. I just opened the paper trade account on this trading view today. So let me open the po position right now on the paper, on the trading view, so that we can trade together like this way. So I just go for whatever lot sizing and buy. Okay. And I have to put the stop loss. So let me place. Okay, let me, I'm still learning how to, how to put the stop loss out. There you go. Stop loss, I put it 35 pips below. Okay. So let's see if the market reaches target or not on this live stream. So I am on the CADJPY buy right now. So let me recheck the higher time frame condition. In this one hour chart, so I'm following this one hour chart direction, and the Kumo's up, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou Span above the candles. So this is bullish in one hour chart. So I'm only watching one hour chart uptrend. And as soon as I see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat in one hour chart, then simply I look for an exit timing. So let me stick to this market now. So my stop loss is, uh, oops, my stop loss should be here. Oh, says to press modify. All right, yeah, there you go. My stop loss, 35 pips below. So let's see if it goes up or not. If it reverses, then I will talk about the exit timing anyways. So on both ways, it should be good. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you on this another live stream today. So yes, um, I can buy or sell at any time basically, but uh, I do so when I see the trending pairs, trending market or trending time frame. And uh, after becoming a full-time trader for the last eight years of my life, I, I, I now be confident that the risk management is more important than the entry timing. Because risk management also involves with the exit timing too and lot sizing or unit sizing. And as long as you have good understanding and good, good experience and knowledge of risk management when to exit, then simply you can buy or sell at any time so that you don't lose in the long run. Aditya says, found JPY on the one time frame of Kijun Sen is still in the Kumo and newborn Kumo. Very thin, is it the uptrend category? Um, yeah, I would say that this is okay uptrend. Yeah, it's not ideal uptrend but uh, it's okay uptrend. Yeah, Kumo's angle is also a bit too thin. So we have to expect the market retraces backwards anytime soon. But with that in mind, you can buy. Of course, you can buy, and whenever the market reverses backwards, then simply exit. So let's see if the market reaches to the Kijun Sen target in this retracement. All 
right? Yeah, once again, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you here. Thank you for joining. I am actually buying this uh, CATJPY by following one hour chart trend direction. So that just to explain the target and also when to, re when to exit when it retraces backwards. Okay, uh, Sulinanto says, hi Kay, how to, sh how to show Asian session in your trading view? Uh, you can just type sessions and find the indicator and uh, you only enable the Tokyo box, Tokyo session. So if you go to setting, only enable Tokyo session. And if that's just the, the, the Tokyo session here between 8 p.m. until 4 a.m. And then uh, you go to style and enable the Tokyo session only on background and then you transparent yellow so that you can see the candles in the background. If you do it too thick like this, then you can't see the candlesticks. So I make it transparent like this so that you can also see the candlesticks in behind. Okay, so let's see what happens right now. I think there is some webcam problem from your webcam. The quality seems off. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah, looks like some lines are happening on this webcam. Maybe I have to buy a new one. This one is old. It, I, I have been using this for, for the last couple of years now. So let me enlarge the screen. Oh, yeah, I see lines up here. Maybe, um, yeah, there's some issue happening. Yeah, actually, I was about to buy a new webcam because uh, in this web camera, my face is too dark. If I turn off the light like this, my face becomes too dark because outside is too bright and myself is a, a, a bit dark. So I have to turn on the light facing my face, which is a bit annoying when I do the live stream. So I'm about to think about, I'm about to buy the new one. So. I think it's a good timing to do that. So once the outside gets darker, it's okay. But uh, yeah, when I do the live stream, when I start it, it's daytime. And gradually from this, this time of a day, it gets darker. So. Okay, so let me check some other markets while waiting for this up move on this particular pair. So let's see, Euro Pound. All right, FAM says Euro Pound, so let me check that one. Yeah, Euro Pound once again is flat right now as per daily chart. It's ranging. It broke the Kumo upwards, but uh, this Kumo breakout can be fake. Um, I used to trade. I used to trade at the Kumo breakout, whatever Kumo breakout I took, but uh, now I don't because this is a fake breakout because the Kumo flat and the Kijun Sen is flat right now. Kijun Sen below the Kumo and the Kumo breakout can be fake. And also Chikou Span is too close with the candles too. And overall market has been ranging. and. Uh, I prefer not to trade this one because you see wicks are too high up and downwards over time. It shows that the market is 
too spiky in lower time frames. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Uh, USCCAD is also trending, all right? Um, from uh, Muhammad, USCCAD. Okay, yeah, it's going down right now. Let me check the one hour chart. Yes, in one hour chart, it's going down. Kumo down, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down, and Chiko Span below the candles too. So it's bearish. So um, the potential target is down to 1.2559 level. This is a target from the previous support on the 16th of July. Yes, but um, it might turn bullish anytime soon because uh, the daily chart is still showing bullish. So as per major direction is bullish, the market could be supported by the Tenkan Sen, supported by the Kijun Sen and it goes up, or it might be supported by the trend line and then it goes up continuously this way. So anyhow, in this case, either Kijun Sen or the trend line is going to be the initial target or the previous support in one hour chart is going to be the target. So, yeah, but there is a potential continuous bearish until down to this, these levels, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, VIX is the uh, volatility index that shows the fear of the market. When there are pandemics or uh, terrorism in the market, in the world, VIX goes very high. Yeah, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you. It's nice to have everyone here in the live stream. So thank you for the support continuously. And thank you for stopping by and make us comments. Even if you don't make comments, I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for this. Oh, Audrey says, uh, so nice of you. Live CADJPY. I'm in the trade also. Now following your exit timing. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me keep an eye on CAD JPY. Still consolidating. It's not really moving much, but let's see. So in one hour chart, sorry, in this five minute chart, the market is going up. And in five, I use the Bollinger Band stochastics. So as long as the market is above the deviation one, this is bullish. I keep holding it. But once the market breaks at that level, then I might exit. So we'll see. Let's see. Um, Greg Gray says, uh, Sir, do you have any experience with using Ichimoku Kinkokyo with Andrew's forks? Um, no, I don't. I don't. I don't know about Andrew forks. It's an Andrew pitchfork. I think it what name it was, but uh, yeah, I don't use that one. I didn't have a chance to use that one in my trading career, so. Daluk says, uh, do you think gold is going bearish this week? Um, yeah, it's bearish at the moment. I think today's bearish day for gold. Let me check again. Um, as per daily chart, uh, yeah, it's bearish. The candlesticks are blue and bearish now. And let me see. In one hour chart, this is also bearish. Yeah, the market is supported 
at 1795.2, but this is a bit bearish to me. So because this is on the reverse in the waves. So yeah, once the market breaks that level, then that will be a good chance to look for sell chance. Setting edge, I mean. So yeah, in terms of uh, weekly chart, let me see. Weekly chart with Ichimoku for gold is ranging. Yeah, the price is exactly in the Kumo now. Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat. Kijun Sen flat, also Tenkan Sen flat. And Chikou Span touching the candles and this is ranging. Yeah, there is no trend in this market. So we don't know which way it's going in the long term. Let me even check the monthly chart. Um, in the monthly chart, uh, this is also ranging. The Kumo is flat, Kijun Sen is up, but since Kumo flat, this Kijun Sen up might be fake and the market might go down this way. This is in the P wave. So, yeah, very difficult to identify which way the market is going. We can draw the lines like this, the P wave. And this is in a range. <laughs> That's great. Great to hear. That's great to hear. Yeah, so let me come back to CADJPY. Move down to five minute chart. Still looks bullish. Still going up. So actually, I'm buying this uh, CADJPY on paper trade on the trading view so that I can show you the trades. So, and I am actually buying the pound yen right now, but uh, for this CADJPY is the paper trade. Oh, nice chair, thank you. It's comfortable. Yeah, we need a nice chair, comfortable chair for trading. I am actually thinking to buy one of the one of these uh, desks where you can lift up and down. Because sometimes I feel like trading or I feel like doing live stream by standing. You know, when you stand up and do something, your creativity increases than sitting down the chair. So, uh, yeah, but this, t this table is fixed, so I might be buying one of these tables. Yeah, when I was working in a full-time worker in Japan, my office was like that in the desk. It ele elevates up and down. Electric, so that was very convenient. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you here, as always. So I am actually doing a live trade with this paper, paper account on TradingView. And this is CADJPY. Norbert says, uh, what do you think about the pound JPY this week? Uh, it's bearish in the long term, so 
still, I think it goes down. Let me come back to pound JPY daily chart. Yeah, overall, still shows bearish. This uh, Kumo's down, Kijun Sen pointing down too. So the price might be resisted at this Tenkan Sen and also previous support level at 150.95 and continuously go down this way. This is a reversal line. So this could be retest and bearish trend might happen this week or next week. But usually when there is a huge retracement like this happening on these uh, JPY pairs, usually tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, about like two days, we have less volatility. So uh, that's usually the case in Forex. When you see this retracement, huge upwards, a uh, couple of days to the future will be very, very boring. Yeah, if you see this up move, and these days were okay, but afterwards the market retraces and loses volatility. So here too, if you see huge bullish trend or bullish day, then afterwards the market will start to shrink down in its volatility. Usually it's a case in Forex. So today is bullish and this is retracing so heavily on these JPI pairs from tomorrow onwards, we might see less volatility. So. And also this week uh, in Japan it has Olympic, so uh, 23rd, 22nd are holiday. So tomorrow, uh, the day after tomorrow will be holiday in Japan, so we might not gonna see a, uh, the volatility on JPI pairs anyways. Yeah, so let's see. So let me check uh, what kind of news we have today afterwards. Okay, today is Wednesday and we don't have any big news. Uh, tomorrow will be a big day for the news. We have a couple of uh, uh, Right decision in Euro and policy meeting in Euro ECB. So be careful on Euro pairs. And also uh, technically Friday morning in Asian session, there is a governor a lower speech on RBA. So AUD could be affected by this. And Friday is going to be a big day also. On Friday, we have uh, Euro pairs. Euro news here, services PMI report. So, yeah, uh, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, we have to be careful for the Euro pairs. But today there is no big news. So, we can basically take trades based on the technical analysis. And let me check the strengths of each currency as of now. Okay, looks like uh, the JPY is a bit retracing and CAD is also a bit retracing too. But still looks a bit bullish. So we'll see. Other pairs are losing volatility now. Pound is going down and USD is going up. So other pairs, other currencies are ranging now. I do only see CAD and JPY are towards extre extreme size. So let me check the CAD, JPY again. Okay, breaking upwards now. So let's see if it reaches the target. 87.90 or not.
Blank says, uh, do you only trade buying trades if the price is above the Kumo? Yep. If, if you see the price above the Kumo, then yes, that will be a buy. But sometimes I take buy uh, when the price below the Kumo, like in this case. On this uh, CADJPY, daily chart, the price below the Kumo, but uh, in one hour chart, the price above the Kumo. And that's why I take one hour chart to take that trend direction. So technically, I'm against the daily direction, but I do this simply because it's retracing backwards and I expect the market will reach to the target of 87.90 in this case. So that will be an intraday style. It's not like a scalping, that short time frame, but uh, this will be intraday. So most likely I will be closing this position within the day. Trip says, uh, on what floor are you K? It seems higher than the other buildings. Yeah, this is very high, yes. This is above 70 level. Yeah, it's very high. There's a fountain show, and downstairs you might hear some sound. Jake says, um, do you think there is more room on the upside with JPY? Um, I think there is, yeah. If the market is still away from the resistance level, then yes, there is a potential room to trade to that level. Um, let's see, pound USD, retro, all right, let me check pound USD. I think it is ranging, but let me see. Pound USD on the daily chart is, uh, yeah, now retracing. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So it might retrace back to the Tenkan Sen initially. We have this uh, engulfing candle. So. Once it breaks, that engulfing, it might turn bullish to the Tenkan Sen. Otherwise, it might be in a range for this week. So that's so better to hold in this case. No trends and no trace. Okay, Audrey says, uh, appreciate you can analyze EuroCAD. All right, let me check EuroCAD. I don't think I've touched this one today. Yeah, EuroCAD is reversing backwards. For the last two days, it's been bearish. So we might see downtrend in lower time frame. So let me check one hour chart. Okay, in one hour chart, there, this is also a nice downtrend. So we can follow one hour chart. The potential target is going to be on the previous support level at 1.4787 and just in case I check the daily chart and 1.4787 is exactly in that Kumo but uh, this looks to be the reversal line too and also there is a bit, some uh, reversal confirmation lines here too at 1.4817 what I mean by reversal is there is a previous support resistances here in supports in this area. Lots and lots of resistances supports. So if the market reaches backwards to these levels or zone, it might be bouncing up in a very short term. So I would say that the uh, price is kind of near to that level. So 
I, I don't want to take trade to sell in this case because it might reverse backwards anytime soon. Yeah, that look, yeah, yeah. Uh, when Japan's on holiday, then yes, an Asian session can be very slow. But you can you can look at the chart after the London session on these JPY pairs, and usually the trend starts after London session opens, anyways. So yeah, you might see some opportunity afterwards. Yeah, Robert, you're welcome. Walter says, only left uh, with New York market, usually in much quiet now after 11 p.m. GMT, plus eight. Yeah, New York can be very uh, quiet also. Yeah. So let me come back to CADJPY again. Okay, it looks like I'm in profit now. Gradually moving up. But this is good. This gradual move is very good sign of this stable uptrend. So right now, I'm running 10 or 11 pips. So let's see how far it goes. Stefan says, uh, Euro USD intraday trade analysis, please. All right, let me check Euro USD intraday style trading. So let's see. In one hour chart, this is in the Kumo now. It's flat ranging, but in the lower time frames, it's retracing backwards. So let me check the 30 minute time frame. In 30, this is also ranging. Um, yeah, this is a bit tricky because we have multiple doji candlesticks and there is no trend in the market and the market is too spiky for the last 1.5 hours so this is not a, not a market to be in but let me check the five minute chart only seeing the price action um yeah so this is bullish right now it's bullish there is a the line you can draw 1.1786 level is the important line, key level. So, yeah, I expect the market goes up in a very short term in this end wave, bullish like this way. So I would buy. I would buy in this market and stop loss will be below the previous low here or here. Yeah, when the market reverses backwards and breaks this uh, key level and also previous support at uh, 1.1786 and also 1.1781, then that will be an exit. Yeah, that will be what I do by price action only in this situation. Jeremy says, can you explain the steps you will take before taking the trades? Thanks. Uh, before taking the trades, uh, I meditate. I close my eyes and meditate maybe just five minutes or so and then open charts and screen charts on my watch list on the right side. I screen these 21 pairs from top to bottom and I do this in a daily chart and a forward chart and see which one is trending. And then I go down to lower time frames 
and look for an entry edge. And I do this three to five times per day. So I don't see the charts all day long. Um, I only see charts three times when the market is slow and there is no trends, then I don't look at the chart on that day, even. So, yeah, but I would say at least once, at least once I watch charts, but uh, if there's no trend, for example, uh, after wake up in the morning in Dubai time, then simply I would stay away. Yeah, sometimes I feel like trading really per day, but sometimes I really don't. And if I don't feel like trading, then simply I stay away. I don't really force myself to trade every day because I, ha I want to do something else. I, ha I want to enjoy my life also, which is the point for doing these tradings. So. Pam says, uh, why are you setting stochastics 30, 10, 10? Oh, that's because of my experience. I used to use, um, I used to use uh, 10, 10, uh, 7, 7 or uh, 5, 3, 3, but I found 30, 10, 10 is the best on the lower time frames. So let me go over to Cat JPY again. Okay, it looks like it's heading towards the target now. So just firm, firm a few pips to the target. It's uh, 10 pips more. So we'll see. So I guess I will put the title Live Trade on today's live stream archive. Richard says, can, can we go over Euro JPY? Is it reversing to the upside? Um, let me see. Yeah, Euro JPY is also retracing backwards to the upside. So it's retracing right now. Because of the very weak JPY today, it's retracing backwards all the way. Oh, Stefan, you're welcome. Glad you like the music. It's like a relaxing kind of jazzy style of the music. Looks like light is a bit getting brighter, too bright. So let me turn this up a little bit this way. Okay. All right, now it's much better. When the market hit the, hit the target, then I will end the live stream today. Move down a little bit. Okay, there we go. A triple, that's good news. Profit with the uh, USCC's run. That's good, that's good. Okay, Walter says, uh, what is your experience in using stochastic RSI? I feel the five minute chart 15 and 30 minute chart stochastic RSI can tell you when the short term price is going up and down. What is your experience, if any? Um, I don't use stochastic RSI, so I'm not sure. I only use pure stochastics only. So I'm not sure how stochastic RSI works. So yeah, below here I use stochastics, the, the simple one I use. I used to use RSI and MACD, but uh, I prefer stochastics. Two lines and kind of simple and easy to understand the crosses. So simply I use this one.
Doreen says, why JPY is weak today? Oh, because of the policy meeting. There was a negative outcome on the policy meeting today in Japan. That's why it sold. All right. Oh, good night. Good night. That's good. Black Potter says, I have a nice buy position on Swiss front JPY. That's good. That's good. Yeah, all the JPY, JPY pairs are retracing. So I think that's a good time to trade right now. Uh, Fathay says, uh, hello, Kay. I am reading your book. It's very interesting. Thank you very much. Do you think that I can use waves theory on M15? Great, thank you for Switzerland. Oh, thank you for the comment. Um, yeah, you can actually uh, yeah, use wave theory in lower time frames too. Yeah, that's possible. You can use it in any time frames, the wave theory. But price theory and time theory, you can only use in the daily chart or the higher time frames. But wave theory, you can do it on any time frames. Yeah, Walter, Sorosh, and Doreen, you're welcome. And it looks like the market hit the target. It's about to hit the target almost. A few more pips. And that will be the end for the live stream today. I think, uh, yeah, the price action, I will talk more in this YouTube channel. I have talked about the Ichimoku so much because actually there are more to it. Price action and lines and candlestick patterns are also very important. I do look at these also. I don't trade Ichimoku only. I use price action and lines and candlestick patterns too. So hopefully you enjoy my future live streams in my YouTube channel. So yeah, and now that I settle in this new apartment in Dubai, so I will, I'm actually thinking of a day to do the special long live stream to celebrate over 40k subscribers. So once I set the date and time, then I will let you know on Twitter and also this YouTube community post. So you will see the announcement when it happens. All right, looks like the market reached target, so I will end the session today. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining and stopping by. So, yeah, I will see you on the next one. And until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.